Hello, this is Coach Nanotite, and we have been getting Kickstarters like hotcakes. <laughs> and this board game is very special because Vinny was getting very sad and lonely because we have so many cat games. So to give him a new friend, we are going to be unboxing Dog Park. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's get into Dog Park. Whoa, I'm getting really good at this. Like the previous video on Verdant, I like... Or maybe it's not out yet. Whoops! But... <laughs> ah, it was kind of easy to open. And I think I'm getting a little better at this. Really. It's not that fragile, come on. It was in such a big box. It's just literally, it's so small, it's like the size of Vernon. <laughs> no! Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Finally, jeez. Oh my goodness. There's like a big, is this a poster? What is it? Hold on, let me open it. This is what the purpose of these videos are, is to find out what things... Are. <sighs> All right, we are back. Hit some technical difficulties. Let's find out what this is. It's like a, it looks like a big envelope. Or is it just like a poster with a bump in it? Or is it like is it? Oh, stuff. Or oh, it's a sleeve. Ha! <laughs> what a mistake. It's a sleeve for the board game. It's actually a pretty cool sleeve. I like the art here. It like has a bunch of different dogs on here. There's no Vinnies though, which makes me very sad. No love for Italian Greyhounds, man. They are just the best dog and nobody credits them. Maybe I'm biased, maybe, but that is an opinion. Okay, what is this? Oh, there's stickers. Yay, I'm gonna use these. That's cool. I need to flatten this out a little bit. Has some pictures. The art is really good. It almost looks like a stroke of paint. One of each. One of these. Shout out to the artist who artisted this. Uh, Holly Axley, Dan May, and Kate Avery. Shout out to them. They did a great job on this. Okay, and we have some chunky dog pieces. Ah. So, so oh, oof, yellow. Obviously, I'm going to choose yellow. And it's, oh, it's one of, okay. Yeah, it's just, yeah, here's a Dalmatian, like a pug and a, like a husky looking dog. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, they're kind of similar, which I don't necessarily love, but it's, it's, it's so great. They're kind of standing in the same position. We kind of talked about this in Flamecraft, that they were all different, but that's okay. I, I think the art definitely uh, makes up for it because the art is like better than Flamecraft's art. So I don't know why I'm comparing this game to. Oh my goodness, there's postcards. They went off! There's like postcards with the dogs on them. That's so cute! <laughs> Whoa, those are. Oh my goodness, I'm. This might be my favorite art game of the year. That's crazy. I have an idea. Never mind. Maybe that's for personal issues. <laughs> but they have a bunch of postcards. We haven't even gotten into the game yet. And then there's a bookmark, which I may use this instead of... Because I, I still haven't used the Flamecraft bookmark yet for my Harry Potter series. So maybe this is why. Because I need to use this bookmark instead. We'll find out. Ah. No. Why does this happen... Happen in it. Okay, that's how it is. But it's nicer, I think. I mean, has a more bookmark shape because I feel like the other one has like a dragon head. Which I, I still think those bookmarks are really cool. It's hard to decide. But it, it has like a, uh, a dog on the front and then it has a bunch of dogs on the back. A bunch of dog busts. So I love that. I love this already. I mean, it's... Oh, the art! It's so good! I'm overwhelmed by how good the art is. 
And this is the front of the box. It's actually pretty good. We got the collector's edition. We're fancy. We're really fancy. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten the collector's edition before, probably, but... Yes, so, Dog Park. Let's open this. Or not. That's okay. Okay. Oh, Oof. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to mention that Shovel Knight Review is coming soon. We are just very delayed on it because our lives have been crazy. And not crazy good, but they've been crazy. Just crazy. And we're, we're going to be filming that this weekend or whenever these videos come out. No concept of time. <laughs> oh no. I hate when it's not satisfying. Ugh. It's not satisfying. Okay, this is a heavy game. Literally not. I mean, I don't know if it's an easy game, but it's for 10 year olds and up. So maybe it is easy. So, oh my gosh. Look at this rule book. It looks so cool. The pages are nice, even though they're not like the scythe rule book pages. They're really nice. This art is crazy good. Oh, wait. Do we have the expansions? Yeah, we have the expansions. We have two. Wait, was there more in the box? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So we have s these. These, uh, like, uh, and some of these tokens, which we'll probably find in the box. And some kennel boards. So, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. So we have a little, a few of these. So we have some leashes and whatever these are. And then we have some tokens. And then we have a bunch of collars. A lot. So that's really all the pop-outs. And we have a big board. Whoa. And this game is all about dog walking. So it's like you're walking dogs. So, oh, I like this. This art is amazing. So it has like a bunch of points on that. So this is kind of where all the main stuff is going on. So you're getting points here. There's a bunch of toys, treats. So you're choosing your path. That's kind of cool. There's a dog deck. Oh my goodness, this game. It's gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh. The art, I may, what if it's a, I hope it's not a, like, I hope I like this game because the art is so good. I hope, I hope this is at least a top 20 game of this year. If I end up, I will play it. I, I, okay, so we have these kennel boards. Oh, this is cool. I, I like the art, I mean, there's a different art style for sure on the, Where'd the yellow one go? We'll forget that out after. I'll check. Okay. So it has like for the kennel boards, it has like this one's pink because it has like the like the uh, reflection and the lights are making it pink. And for all the rest of the ones, like this one, the light is yellow, so it's like glaring yellow. This one's glaring orange, and this one's glaring green. I think that's kind of cool to not make it like they could have totally bordered the edges with it and made it kind of really basic but they made it they made it interesting which this is why this game the art is way too good it's way too good and then oh my goodness these inserts are so good like look at this I, i'm gonna freak this is amazing like they're little dog bones oh my goodness i'm i'm too excited for this aren't i we have some more of these dog meeples. I'm assuming they're just, if you want to choose a different dog for a different color, I mean, for the same colors, you can. Like, if you like this yellow dog more than this yellow dog. So these are a little bit different. Because this one's like a German Shepherd and like a, this looks like a wiener dog, a poodle and a, whatever that dog's called. But yeah, they're definitely different. Or are they? Yes, they are, because this one's a Dalmatian. That's a very different animal. This one's like a Corgi. Okay. That's kind of cool. I, I actually like these. I like all of these. P 
pieces and there's a lot of pieces wow <laughs> and there's this little doghouse piece which i think is cool and there are a lot of games that i've unboxed but i'm just like oh my goodness this game looks so good and i'm liking this with this game like there's, this meeple is pretty chunky like they're all pretty chunky this piece is really chunky though it's really really chunky and i love it I think this game is already going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Just like Black Panther 2. Oh, there's a bird. That doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or is that a bird? No. Yeah, it's, it's like a little blue bird. Interesting. Maybe the dogs chase the bird. Well, there is a dice in the same bag. A nice dice. I like when the sides are edged and, or the like it's like a circle on each side that's kind of cool so maybe this is what you roll to decide how how many spaces you're going hope this isn't like candy land but i very oh so this is the top of your kennel board let me let me just get the green one to match it i'm assuming this goes on top like this oh so it's like a missing part of it that's really cool I really just need to take, like, when I'm done playing or I'm just setting up for playing, I just need to take a picture and post it on my social so you guys can look at it for as long as you guys want. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is too good. I don't know if the I can contain the art. Gun dog. What? Oh, this is a forecast. Interesting. This game has a very different vibe of other games. It... It feels more like real life, and Flamecraft and, like, Cafe Chaos don't feel like that. Or Dice Throne. Like, this is feels... So, Gun Dog, 70 for... Oh, so it's, like, like how what, what percent of dogs are, like... Okay, hold on. Let me move this real quick. So, it's, like, like 70% of dogs are hounds, and 17%... Okay, so it's, like, 70%, okay... I'll just put all these out. Toy dogs, utility dogs, working dogs. I'm assuming you like get these and they like you're trying to like fill up your percentage or something. So then there's some like uh, bonus cards that, that might help you it, during the game. So that's kind of interesting. And there's some of these. So that's kind of interesting. I think. I mean, you guys can add it. I don't know if it goes all the way to 100%, but it probably does. So that's kind of cool. I actually... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm hyperventilating because this, this game looks so good. Oh my goodness, the art is amazing. I've only had like one semi baddish thing to say about it, but that's it. And that's not even about the main art. It's just like... <laughs> Man, it's just going to be me rambling, isn't it? Yep, I'm going to ramble this whole time. And I know I am, because I am who I am. <laughs> okay, so, very, okay, Dad. <laughs> so we have two of these. And for some reason, I have to pack the cart. Okay. Holy jeez. There are a lot of cards in this game. Holy, look at this deck. It just has like Irish Terrier. So there's like, hold on, let me. So there's first edition of Dog Park. So then there's like player things, which are, they're all the same thing. Then the scoring. And then some objective cards. So this is an example. Interesting. And then there's some, some of the, uh, oh, rating. So maybe you're like doing a, like a side job and you're getting like ratings for it. That's it. That's going be an interesting idea. Location. So these are location cards. And then there's a bunch of different dog cards, a bunch of different dog cards. Holy jeez. Like there's a bunch of terriers i think the terrier so there i'm pretty sure it's 17 percent or whatever percent are terriers or yeah it, like i'm pretty sure 70 percent of the deck will be or whatever percent of the deck will be terriers just like on that card 
There's a bunch of terriers though, and a bunch of utility dogs. Holy jeez, look at all that. And then a bunch of working dogs and like one gun dog. Hoping there's more. Maybe the I, I think their percents are right. They have to be right because this game is too good. It's too good. Maybe I'm getting things all wrong. Those are actually part of the game, which I'm very sure that I am wrong sometimes. So that might be a thing. Oh no. All right, guys, we'll be back when we clean this stuff up because there's a lot. All right, we're back and we are going to look at the expansion cards that might... <laughs> Magic! <laughs> it just went right into my lap. Wasn't that awesome? Oh, man. I love being happy. <laughs> no. Okay, so there's two expansions. The Famous Dogs expansion and the European Dogs expansion. And then, so it kind of shows the cards. And then it has different dogs. So a gun dog. So this is a type of gun dog. An Italian spin-on. And a working mastiff. Then there's a ton of dog cards. There's like... So these are the European dogs. I labeled them. I'm so good. <laughs> so these are a bunch of examples. And there's just a bunch more dogs in there. Just a bunch. Yeah, I think this is going to be a fun game. I, I really like dogs. And I, I didn't have a dog since Vinny. And I got Vinny in like the end of 2019. So I've had him for like three years. Because we got him when he was like nine weeks. So yeah, I've come to love dogs. Um, okay. So I kind of just flipped that one and didn't look at any of the other ones. Oh, there's a, that hound is so cute. So these are famous dogs. And maybe these are from movies and stuff, and, like, that's where they've become so famous, and I can already see, like, a bunch of these dogs. Looks, yeah, Chihuahua, obviously. Pomeranians. Whatever that is. Dalmatians are very, because of probably, these dogs are, because, like, memes and stuff. St. Bernard's are really, yeah, a lot of these, I can say, are very famous. There's more of these. There's a lot famous dogs that I recognize in here. Maybe I need to, maybe, I mean, I just wish Italian Greyhounds were more famous. So that means they could be in here, but they're not. That's okay. <laughs> they can't make every type of dog. That would just be way too much work. <laughs> but yeah, definitely when this comes into retail, just buy it right away. <laughs> if you love art in general, I'm not I'm not holding you at gunpoint telling you to buy it, but <laughs> it's it's already too good. I'm hoping these are okay. Okay, I'm sacking into the right pile. Oof, that was a close one. Yeah, this is a good game. Really good. I love it. Then we have a little. Uh. Oh. Score pad. Score pad. <laughs> so it has a bunch of scoring for things. So, oh, you're like winning awards. Here we go. So, like, you're winning. If you want to read this, you're like, I'm pretty sure you're winning a bunch of stuff. From one breed expert awards, from completing objective cards. To, so you're like getting medals, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that may be part of it. So, yeah, that's interesting. I like that. Oh, my gosh. Holy jeez, there's a lot into this game. There's even more meeples! Oh, what is this? Ah! Oh my gosh, there's chunky dog toy pieces! Oh my goodness! This is a board gamer's dream! Like, look at it! I don't want to pour all of it out, but... There's little octopi! And, like, tennis balls and sticks! And little bones! Oh my goodness! This is... Like, if you want to get a dog game, like, if you're into dog games, if you want to get into dog games, then this is a perfect game to start out. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But, I love this game too much. It's it's too good. I don't know how a game can look this good. This game is going to be awesome. I know it is. because Because if the art is this awesome, I can just... 
look at it the whole time and it's gonna look so good <laughs> and there's a lot of put away so just set it aside we'll spare you the put away oh my gosh there's more dogs I didn't know look at there's two of these decks I was freaking out about one deck there's two I it's crazy how, 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 like, they made this art in that amount of time. Like, we didn't back it that long ago. Like, we last Christmas, that's a year ago. Wow, they are really good at art in a short amount of time. So there's just a bunch of different dogs. Yeah, just, that looks like Vinny. I don't know why. It just looks like a big version of Vinny. <laughs> that also kind of looks like Vinny, because he's so long, right, Ben? Yeah, you're long. It's a long dog. Imagine if I just, if it was in here and I didn't get to see it, I would be so mad. Oh my gosh. I would literally be like, guys, I forgot on Instagram. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be the fail of the year for sure. Biggest fail ever. All right. And wait, is that it? Yeah, a couple bags of stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, so we have dog walking people meeples. <laughs> That's fun to say. <laughs> dog. No. And I said it backwards, but I think my way is better. I said dog walking people meeples. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's the best dog walking people meeples. <laughs> Dog walking people meeples, even though it would be technically people walking dog meeples, but it's 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 too fun to say you not to say that. Yeah, you know, if you put it if you put it this way, the dog is walking the human. And th these are just dog walking meeples, and um, the other dogs are. Oh my goodness, dog walking people meeples. That's the f <laughs> that's the best thing ever. This game is too good. I love it too much. We have just some. We have some dog walking people meeples. You can't say that with a straight face. Just try it. Just say dog walking people meeples, and <laughs> you, you won't say it with a straight face. I promise you, it's too funny. And then there's a bunch of these peg pieces, kind of. I don't know what they're for, really, but we'll find out. And that is it. Oh, game trays. Game trays is. Goated. They've made so many collaborations and they're even making their own Kickstarter game and it's like five hours long. That's an over exaggeration, but <laughs> yes. All right. This game looks awesome. Um, and outro. If you loved this video like I did, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and smash the notification bell so you can get a notification on when. A review for Dog Park comes out, which will be very soon. And more Kickstarters will be coming your way, depending on how fast things come. And yeah, check out my socials, Facebook and Instagram. They, they're they like down here somewhere. And um, merch. <laughs> yes, merch. Uh, check out my merch store, because that is one of the best ways to support me. Um, and scan the... Scan the QR code somewhere. I don't know where it'll be. It'll probably, isn't it here, Dad? Like, down here? I don't remember. Yeah, so maybe it's here. You can go on one of my streams and find it, but that leads you to my link tree where you can get all this information. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.